Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Chef Mario. Today on the show, I received a call saying that I have some guests coming over. So I decided to make my famous tiramisu. Shall we get started? Let's see the ingredients we have. For the first ingredient, we need the mascarpone cheese. Just make sure you take it out 30 minutes in advance before you use it. The next ingredient will be some Savonardi Ladyfinger cookies. You will also need vanilla extract, some espresso, sugar, and some cocoa powder. You will also need a cup and a half of heavy cream that I have already whipped up in the fridge. As an optional ingredient, you could put a shot of rum in your tiramisu. Say, where did I put it? Turn up! First, we're going to use the whole container of mascarpone cheese. Now, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, we add a half a cup of sugar. Now, mix all the ingredients all together. First, we're going to put a little bit of the whipping cream I had prepared before into the mascarpone cheese. Now whisk all the ingredients together and make it creamy. Now add the remainder of the whipping cream and fold it into the ingredients. This is how you fold. This is how we assemble the cake. First you dunk the cookie into the espresso. Once the cookie is soaked, make sure it's layered on top of the tray. Now that you've finished the first layer of cookies, now take half of your mixture and spread it onto the cookies. Now that we're done spreading the first layer, we're going to sift some cocoa onto the top of the cake. Now that we've finished the first layer, repeat it for the second layer. Now we're going to spread the final layer. Last but not least, top the top of the layer with some cocoa. Then put it in the fridge for 4 to 6 hours before serving it. That way when you take out a piece, it doesn't fall apart. Ah. I just took it out of the fridge and it's ready to serve. Oh, that was the doorbell. Perfect timing, my guests are here. Well, thank you so much for watching this Cooking with Chef Mario. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below if you have any recipes you want me to try in the next one. Thanks guys.